And what prompted you to kind of get the ball rolling here with this? I mean, I know, I know <laughs> Kelly Kerr has been involved yeah. here before, but uh, for you, you know, is it just like you're a junior now? These are the things yeah. that upperclassmen do, or? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, I just when I went home, when I was back home, I was kind of thinking about it, and, uh, and I thought, it, you know, how cool would that be? If I was able to, you know, get some of the football players, and and we could come down here, uh, as we developed it, the vision got a little bit bigger, and uh, we were able to get the whole team uh, down here, and I, I think it's been an awesome event. And, you know, I, I hate to say it, uh, but I feel like we've almost gotten more out of it than than do them. So, what, what do you get from it? What, what's yeah. Well, sometimes you don't know how much you have until you see someone who doesn't have anything, mm -hmm. and and that's what I say is the biggest thing. You know, you know, being here in Notre Dame, we're so blessed, uh, athletically, intellectually, uh, opportunity-wise, and uh, just just to be in a community that is really loving and, and caring. So, a lot of people don't have that, and a lot of people like me don't have two parents in the household. And really they kind of struggle through life, so uh, it, it, it really just adds inspiration really for me, uh, and uh, you know, it just makes me appreciate everything that much more. Coach Kelly talked about you're a different person. He said you're not the goofy guy that takes his shirt off at a pep rally anymore. That you you've grown, you've matured, and and this is just an example of what you who you are right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I try and grow as a person. Uh, you know, sometimes the process is a little bit slower than others, but uh, yeah, you know, I think it's important to give back, uh, just with, with the opportunities that we have and the impact that we can have uh, giving back, so, uh, you know, I'm just enjoying it and trying to uh, to create as much good in society as I can. So. How easy was the conversation at the table to, kind of, to find a common denominator that you guys can all talk about? Yeah, it, it, it's actually not as hard as, as you would think. Uh, yeah, the, there are people, they have stories, and a lot of them are really interesting. And so it, it's it's kind of fun to, to hear them talk. Carl was the guy at my table. I uh, started talking about football uh, when he played in high school and, and kind of some of the events that uh, you know, led him to be here. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really not as hard as you think. So. What, what did you hear from somebody that, you know, whether it's a kid just coming saying hello or something, just what, what that made you feel good about you know, what you're doing? I think at the end when all of them said how much they appreciated the event, I think that's what it really hit, you know, like what a difference we made. Uh, I, I think it was, uh, uh, sorry, I can't remember her name, but uh, you know, she, she broke down um, in, in gratitude and, you know, that's, that, that's what really, you know, gives you that feeling, that, that, that good feeling inside to, to let you know that, that you made a difference. And, that's kind of what our goal was of coming down here is maybe you know we can make a difference in these people's lives and and then you know the trend continues and they make a difference in other people's lives in a positive way.